Hey guys, I'm going to do a uh, little update on one of my leopard gecko females. I'm going to show her because, for a few reasons, she's one of my females that has been laying the eggs for me. She's actually laid um, six eggs since I started breeding her, and she's lost a lot of weight. Um, still pretty active, still real nice. Um, the thing I've noticed about her is weird is she um, seems to only want to eat crickets now. She has no, absolutely no interest in superworms, mealworms, wax, wax worms, or anything. So what I'm going to do today is just kind of show you a um, little of her because I'm going to give her some crickets and I like the way she eats crickets. So I'm going to let her get back in there and see if she can eat some of these for us on film. Come on down, girl. Nice. She's got a good appetite for crickets but nothing else. That's paper towel girl. <laughs> she got bad aim. There you go. She just laid uh, two more eggs for me um, three nights ago. And so now I'm trying to get her plump back up. I took the male out from her and the other female about a month ago, but he really put in work. I've got, um, I have 12 eggs uh, total from, from them, and I had a few of them uh, that were infertile and one go bad on me, so I have actually. <laughs> Quit getting that paper towel. I've actually got uh, nine eggs that should be viable, and of course you've already seen one hatch, and the other ones should be hatching out pretty soon. She loves her crickets. I think I'm actually going to take that paper towel out. Crickets on it. Ooh, she got a big one, a big crunchy one. Um, they are dusted in um, calcium powder. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, vinate calcium. I've got a little mixture of it right here that I dust all their food with. Man, she's looking real skinny. But it's really important, guys, if you're going to have these these uh, females, if you're going to be breeding them a lot, you know, make sure that they, um, make sure you keep them, keep them well fed because they can deteriorate uh, pretty quickly after they lay so many eggs. Like I said, she's laid six eggs in the last, um, in the last uh, little over a month for me. So, really important to give them as pretty much much food as they'll eat. And I uh, give them plenty of fresh water all the time, too. You guys have already seen the other one that hatched. Um, had a lot of people comment on it, and some pretty good breeders sent me messages about it. Last video, looks I bred her to a um, Max Snow White and Yellow. Um, that was hat for a trimpery clips. Uh, it doesn't really matter, because she's not carrying either of those traits. But it looks like I, um, I hatched out a Hypo Max Snow White and Yellow. Um, really cool looking at, uh, animal. It's my, like I said, it's my last video. If you look at it, it's a uh, really white animal with black spots on it. Um, but it's definitely got a um, a lot of yellow on the back out on its back as well too. So it's kind of cool animal. Not what I expected, but still very cool though. And um, I'll wrap this video up. I just kind of wanted to show you guys. A little bit more of her and uh, give you an update on how many eggs I've got cooking and uh, just wanted to show you. I'm going to actually uh, put the other one next to her. And this one right here has also laid six eggs for me and she loves mealworms. 
And you can see the difference in them. Look, look at the thickness of their tails. Well, I guess she wants some crickets too. <laughs> but um, she's got two more eggs in her. You can you can see like right there, her sides are bulging out. Um, she's gonna whack up this time with her tail. Um, she's got two more eggs in her that she should be dropping down uh, here pretty much any day now. But uh, I just can't believe how many how many eggs these guys pop out if you let them uh, if you let them habitate with the uh, the males. Gonna get this cricket right here and steal it from her. Well, she got one of those legs. All right, guys, I'll do it for this video. I just want to give you an update on them, and um, I'll do an incubator update next on them and show you what I got going. Hope you guys enjoyed it as always, and um, <laughs> we'll see you next time.